everyone, it's Sherry and Loki, and we hope that you are having a wonderful day. We have a fabulous, fabulous project for you today, and we know that you are going to love it. Stay tuned. My channel I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers welcome to all of my new friends welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends thank you guys so much for the awesome way that you support me my channel and Loki I recently posted a community post celebrating Loki's second birthday got a lot of questions asking me what type of dog is she Loki is a schnoodle she is half poodle and half schnauzer and 100% out of this world, super smart. So today we're going to make something so cute and it's going to start with a brown paper bag. We're going to take that brown paper bag and we're going to turn it into a drawstring paper bag. And then we're going to fill that bag with some rosettes that I saved from last year's Father's Day crafting and some of the curly cues. And I'm going to add just a few Tootsie Pops to this. So this is a very rustic, grungy gift. And y'all, these are perfect for any season, any reason, anyone. You can use a red bag and theme it for Christmas, for Valentine's Day. You can make these for birthdays, anniversaries, whatever you choose. I'm going to give you a closer look at this in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. And so y'all, here is a closer look at today's awesome project. It's not going to be a very involved one, but it will be one of those projects that might become one of your favorite go-tos. If you wanna celebrate any occasion, this is a great little way to do it. We're going to make this fun, festive, grungy bouquet for him. But like I said, swap out the paper, swap out the embellishments, any season, any reason, anyone. So as you can see, I have my rosettes, I have some lollipops, and I have my little curly cues. Easy to make, and then we're going to make a drawstring bag, and I'll show you how easy that process is as well. So here's what we're going to need to make our project. I have already made seven curly cues for this one. I'm going to put eight in the basket, and then I have these super awesome rosettes that I saved from last year's Father's Day crafting that we're going to repurpose in this year's Father's Day crafting. For those of you who don't know how to make a rosette, check the description box because I will have a video link below that will show you the rosette making process. And I'm going to use three of these. To make the curly cues, I am going to be using strips that are cut at one quarter of an inch by 12, and I will be attaching them to a toothpick. Then I have this little dowel that I'll be using to shape the curly cues. Lollipops are going to be in mine, but it can be optional for yours. If they have a favorite candy, you might just want to tuck that in. Then I have a brown paper bag, and this bag starts out at 10 and an eighth by five and an eighth. And then I have some white floral styrofoam that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have just cut this piece down. I have a piece of the Dollar Tree nautical rope. I have cut a portion of that. That's what we're going to be using. And then I have two pieces of chipboard that I have at the bottom. And these measure three by five. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make our curly cue. So I am going to take the strip that measures one quarter of an inch. I'm going to leave a tail of about that much and then I'll wrap. And all I'm doing is wrapping this around until I go all the way down with this and we will have our little curly cue. like that. And then I'm just going to slide it off. Then we're going to take this long end. We're going to add some glue. Then we'll take the head of the toothpick and just run it through the middle like that. And then I'll just wrap this around the toothpick. And that's how easy it is to make this little pick. 
just make sure you give your glue a chance to catch. So I'll take this one and just add it to my Curly Q collection. Like I said, I'm using eight of those in my project. And while my glue is still out, I'm just going to take my two pieces of chipboard and we're just going to add some glue. Join these two pieces together because I just want a heavier weight base for this. And so now we're going to take our bag and we're just going to crumble it because we want to grind it just a little bit. So let's just crumble the bag. And I really am crinkling this because I don't want the bag to look neat because I am going for that grunge look. So with my bag like this, I'm going to go ahead and take the bottom and just put it in. So we'll go ahead and put that bottom in. Now I'm just going to take the top and I'll very carefully just start rolling it down. And as I fold it, you can actually straighten it to get it nice and neat. So then I'll start my second roll. Straighten that. And then we're going to roll it one more time. So I'm actually rolling this three times. And if you don't have the size bags that I have, use what you have. So there is my nice little bag. I'm going to go ahead and take my styrofoam piece and put it on the inside. Then I'm going to take my finger blade and I am just going to cut two slits and I'm going to make these decent sized slits. So I'm cutting all the way through. So I'm going to cut a slit here, come over about half an inch and cut another slit. And you want to make sure that those slits are long enough so that you'll be able to take the rope and feed it through. So I am going to go to the back, take my rope, and just tuck it under. And then when I get to the slit, I can just feed that piece through. We do the same thing over here. We're going to make sure that the rope is inside like that. And then we're going to take it and just feed it through the slit like that. And then all we do is very gently start pulling from both ends. And you can pull it as tight as you want. Or you can leave it a little bit loose. I like how this looks. I like it when it's really getting that scrunchy look like this. So now I'm just going to take this and tie it off into a knot. And then I'm going to take my scissors, trim off that excess. And this is what we have, very, very rustic. Then I'm just going to undo the rope that's hanging. And y'all, this is how the front looks. I think that this is such a cute and unique way of creating a little gift basket or gift bag. It's very unusual. But trust me, they are going to love it. All right, y'all, so here comes the really fun part. We get to fill it and transform our grungy drawstring bag into something really cute. So I am going to take my biggest rosette that says dad, 
and I'm going to put that in the middle. Then I'll take this one and put it right here in the front. And then I'm going to take this one and it says Mr. Fix It. I'm going to put that right here. And I think this is going to be the one that I actually give to Mike because he really is a Mr. Fix It. So then I'm going to take my little curly cues and just start randomly tucking those in. And you can see how that's starting to take shape. I might feel like I don't need all eight. And then again, I might use all eight. So then we're just tucking those in just like that. Then I'm going to take a couple of my lollipops and just put those in. And then I'm going to take another lollipop and we're just going to start tucking these in. And you can put those in at different heights. The one I have in the front, I'm going to put it in just a little bit lower. So then I'm gonna take this lollipop and tuck it in the back like that. And then I'll take this one and we're going to put it over here. So I do think that I want another curly cue right here in the middle. I think I'm going to just put one in like this at an angle so it's sticking out at the front. And y'all can see just how festive this is shaping up to be. I'm going to tuck one here in the back. So I am pretty pleased with how this looks. So at this point, I am just going to take some shredded paper and we're just going to tuck in some shredded paper as the filler. So it won't take a whole lot of shredded paper, just enough to go in there and fill in some of the bare spots. Take some and put it in the back. And so y'all, there we have another grungy drawstring bag bouquet. This is so easy to make. Didn't take us a whole lot. We started with the brown paper bag and we built up from there. This is one of those very unusual things that packs a punch in presentation. So I am going to bring the first one back in so that you can see both of these and just how easy they were to make. So I hope that this has inspired you to make your own drawstring bags from a paper bag and then use them for whatever it is you want to use your drawstring bag for. I turned mine into a nice little Father's Day bouquet, but you don't have to. You can turn yours into so many other things. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's awesome craft brought to you by Loki and by me. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, Loki said that we would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.